It's chilly. Yeah, it's uh, 48 degrees, Southern California. I know, if you're watching from like the middle of the country, I know it's not that cold, but for us here, it's, it's cold. What's up everybody, welcome back to another one of my course vlogs. In today's video, we are playing at the beautiful Oak Cory Golf Course in Harupa, California. It is my favorite course in the Inland Empire. Today, we'll be playing the championship tees, which are the blue tees, and they're playing 6,600 yards. Starting off on hole number one, it's a 367 yard par four that bunker on the left does come in play, so make sure you aim a little bit to the right. If you do hit the fairway, you'll have an easy wedge onto the green. It's early in the morning, I got driver, let's see how we do. We yep, go. that's my miss. I yanked it a little left, ended up in this bunker, I caught the lip. I'm just kind of fast forwarding through these shots here, they're not the greatest shots. But I hit a decent wedge shot here, I was a little confused on my yardage, I didn't have my rangefinder with me, but I did overshoot the green there. Wedge shot here was, or chip shot, was a little tricky. The green did run away from me, so I was trying to keep it on the top level, it just didn't make the green, so decided to do a little putt here from like 15 feet out. Got it relatively close, I mean, I guess I'll take a double bogey from here. Moving along to hole number two, it's a 352 yard par four. Not super long, I decided to play it smart on this hole. That bunker on the left is about 240 yards to reach it, so I decided to play a two iron off the tee. Let's see how we do. Almost running out of fairway with my two iron. I had 90 yards to the pin and I hit an easy 56. Oh. <laughs> bird, yes. Right. Man, it's been a while since I've had a birdie, so I'm super happy with that. That brings us back down to one over after two. We're jumping into hole number three. It's a really short par four. It's only 274 yards from the blues. And after that birdie, I just said, you know what? No more bitch golf. I'm gonna rip that driver and get it on the green and get an eagle putt. Oh, yes. Woo Stay out of that bunker, Come on, get up, get up. Shot, boy. Oh, oh. Right. shot, boy. Oh, shot. Shot, Damn. boy. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful day today. Isn't it? It is. Got some homies with me today. We got Michael, Hacker is golf. What's up, man? It's all good, baby. How you doing? Good, bro. Good. Excellent. You hit an amazing shot. You are on the green. I, I hope so. That's a that's a great way to start the yeah, round. Yeah, for sure. And you had a birdie on the last hole. Hey, man, I'm, I'm on. You know, things are starting to click. You're on fire. <laughs> You're on fire. I'm just trying to keep it in play. Hey, hey, there you go. Aaron, say what's up. Juice. What up? Then we got Frankie. What's up, bro? What's going on? How you doing, brother? Good, good, bro. Beautiful hey. day today. It is. Well, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Goes a long way. Also, make sure you hit the like button. Again, goes a long way. It really helps me out. Greatly appreciate it. Great drive. Definitely not a bit shot there. Left myself with a 30, maybe 35 feet coming down the hill for Eagle. This was filmed the day after my last vlog that I played at Eagle Glen. So my putting was yeah it just wasn't the best so just watch come on baby you gotta hit it dude yeah sexy what happened got caught up I in your skirt i got yeah <laughs> uh 
Definitely didn't leave myself with an easy birdie putt. Give me a bird. Oh my god, then I ram it by. Wow, just just wow. Up the hill for par. Come on. That is so dumb. Absolutely right. That is very dumb. That was a quad putt, four putt for bogey. Ugh. Oh well, that hole's behind us now. My practice swings there were feeling pretty good. Let's jump right into hole number four. It's our first and only par five of the front nine here at Okori. It's 520 yards from the blues. There's a little speed slot just past the bunkers there. If we can clear those bunkers, it will leave you with a tricky second shot. I mean, it's definitely a risk reward here. Shot, boy. Gorgeous. Just like my other tee shot, my driver was feeling good. All right, so my ball was right here. I was 175 yards out. Hit a six iron. Skull a little bit, but I'm on the green. Well, you heard that right. I didn't hit the best shot there, but I lucked out, landed on the green. I have about 21, 22 feet left for eagle. Um, yeah, I just, again, in my head here, I'm not trying to make the putt. I just want to get the ball close to the hole. Give myself a tap in birdie. That's it. Pace. And not the tap in I was looking for, but I did give myself a really good look at birdie here. My man. Oh. And I just pulled it. Three putt par. That puts Burn. us at two over after four holes. Going into hole number five, 158 yard par three. We got some big bunker on the left there. It's pretty deep. You do not want to be in there. Well, that's a total fail. I'm on the left there. I've been living up in Redoso, New Mexico the last year. You know, I played here a couple times already and I always tell myself, don't go in that bunker. And sure enough, I find that bunker. Bunker shots are one of the things that I, I honestly, I never practice. So my whole goal is whenever I'm in the bunker is just to get on the green. doesn't matter where it is. Just give myself a putt. If I can make that par putt, great. If not, at least get a bogey and get out of there. There it is. Come on. I gave it a good whack. Gave myself a tap in bogey putt. So that puts me at three over after five. Going on to hole number six. It's a tricky, tricky par four. It's 325 yards all downhill. You have a split fairway. You have options. You can choose left or right left you bring that bunker in play but that is the ideal position to be at to attack this green i didn't mention it but to reach that fairway it's only 180 yards i hit a six iron here and i flushed that six iron i don't know what's going on with my camera here i was trying out some different settings but yeah they're not the best had 109 yards here had a i was like in between a 56 and a 52 Try to hit an easy 52 and I ended up just to the right side of the green here. I didn't record my chip shot, chipped it to about four feet, had this putt for par. Drained it. Let's rewind it. Let's look at that putt one more time. Look at my head, how I keep my head down throughout the whole putt stroke. And then right there, I lift it up. Little tip I learned from golf sidekick. Going into hole number seven, it's a 195 yard par three. It's the number one handicap here at Okori. Coming off par par, I'm hoping to get par or even birdie. That would be nice. Pin placement today was tucked all the way on the left. I was not gonna flirt with the left side. Had a five iron, played it right towards the middle. That boy hits a good ball. That's a great stroke. Thank you so much for the compliment there, Michael. I still got some work left. I got about 45 feet for my birdie. Not my favorite distance, 
but let's see what we do here. Come on, bro. Look at that. God, like 10 feet for, for my par. And then I proceed to hit it like a damn pansy. Frustrating bogey. That puts us at four over going into hole number eight. It's a 406 yard par four. If you go left, your ball's flying 100 feet down into the water there. Do not want to go left. Precision is key on this hole. All right, push that ball out a little bit to the right. I had 119 yards. I decided to hit a 52. Figured it's gonna come out a little hot off that rough, but I caught it a little fat. Came up a little short off the green here. Sorry about the camera here. I changed a setting and it just blew out my sky, but I hit a decent wedge shot here. I had about eight feet for par. I was trying to get a good feel of the break because it looked, I mean, it looked very straight, but I, I felt like it was going to break a little bit to the right um, or my left, but right side of the screen. Picked the line and put a good stroke on it. Just never broke. No break. All right. Tap and bogey puts us at five over going into hole number nine, which is a 380 yard par four. That first bunker on the left, it's only about 200, 210 a carry. So, I mean, just hitting a driver passive and you're, you're gonna be fine. But hitting a good drive here will leave you with a short wedge going onto the screen here. You can hear the wind starting to pick up, but I hit a great drive. You can see how I pick up the T right away. Hit a nice little fade onto the right side of the fairway. I had the exact same yardage as the previous hole. That's 119 yards, but this time I decided to hit a pitching wedge instead of a 52. Let's see how we do. And you hit a good ball. Oh, this is hanging out to the left, though. You hit a good ball, though, bro. Yeah, I just want to think it was a side hill lie there. I didn't think that side of hill line was going to affect my ball that much, but it did. It shot way left, but it had a tricky, tricky chip shot here. The pin was pretty close to the, to the collar there, so it didn't have much green to work with. Yeah, I just don't have that flop shot in my bag. Uh, flop shot would have been nice, but yeah, don't practice those shots. Anyway, left me with this like 15, maybe 18 footer for, for par. Shit, my battery's gonna die. And he just heard me there. <laughs> I knew my battery was gonna die. And well, let's just say it died right before I took the shot. All right, sorry about that. My my battery died, but I got a par on that. I actually made a, like, it was like a 10, 12 footer for par, which, um, yeah, it doesn't really happen that often. But after nine holes, um, five over, it's actually not bad. I mean, my swing feels pretty good. It's just my putting's been crappy, to say the least. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.